Hi friends, it's Jennifer All, and today we are continuing our Christmas theme daily hopes, and we are looking at Joseph's story in Matthew chapter 2, verses 19 through 23. Now, as you recall, we just experienced the beautiful part of the story of the Magi coming from so far to worship the newborn king, but we also talked about Herod and Herod's terrible, vengeful, tragic attack on the little lives in Bethlehem which prompted Joseph to have a dream that told him to pack up the Holy Family and flee to Egypt. And that's where our verses pick up today. Joseph and the family are hanging out in Egypt and they don't know how long they are supposed to wait there. They were told, stay there until you are told it's safe to return. So they are just chilling, waiting in a new and foreign land. And Joseph gets a dream where he is visited by another angel of the Lord, telling him it is now safe to return back to Israel. So he packs up the family again, they move back, and when they get there, they discover that Herod's son is ruling over Bethlehem area, and he's even worse than his dad. So Joseph reroutes the family, not to Bethlehem, but to Nazareth, which actually ends up fulfilling even more prophecies. So as we're looking at this passage today, what stands out to me are the concepts of location and time, timing. Man, have you ever moved in your life? Have you ever packed up your whole household and had to resettle in a new area? Oh, make a new home for yourself somewhere? I've moved a number of times in my life and it is always daunting, even under the best of circumstances, let alone like Joseph's where they had to flee quite quickly and, and they were just moving into the, so many unknowns. And my moves have been way simpler than this. And they even caused me to have these moments where I questioned, did I make the right call? Did I, was this the right time to move? Did I make the right move? Am I in the right place? As we look at the decisions and the the bravery that Joseph exhibits in today's passage, I'm just really impressed by the way this man trusted God with the where and the when of his life. He had to, to move and relocate this newborn family. He's responsible for the son of God and yet he trusted God. These moves, they took discernment and faith. But I believe that we too can trust God with the where and the when of our lives. For example, the where, we can trust God with the location and the where's of our life because we see how God is so intentional with Joseph's location at every step of his journey. Okay, moving him to Egypt, that, man, that just tells us how much God really identifies with anyone who's ever had to uproot and move their whole lives because they've been afraid, they've been um, fleeing danger or persecution you realize the Holy Family were refugees. God identifies with that kind of fear and that, that concern and that heartbreak. God knows that, knows it well, and he is near to anyone who has ever felt like a stranger in a strange land, felt like an outsider. He knows that feeling. He's there with us in that. But then this move from Egypt back to Israel, it is symbolic on so many levels. And it harkens back to the Exodus story of God's people moving out of Egypt into the promised land. And we're supposed to make those connections. We're supposed to think that because this move from Egypt back to Israel symbolizes that deliverance is here again. Now, that reroute from Bethlehem to Nazareth, it was, it was a reroute used by God to protect Jesus and to fulfill God's purposes. It wasn't a reroute because Joseph was, was fleeing the schemes of the enemy and he was, he was trying to avoid evil. No, no, no. Evil does not direct our steps. God directs our steps. And that move was God ordained and God directed because he's the one writing our stories. So we can trust him with the where of our lives. And we can trust God with the timing in our lives because we see how appointed and purposeful God's timing is in all of this story. God knew when it was safe. 
for Jesus and the Holy Family to return. He knew that he had all the proper things in place and ready to go. God's timing is perfect. And I know, gosh, how hard it must have been for Joseph to be sitting there in Egypt waiting for an indeterminate amount of time. So many of us know that season of waiting, and it's so easy to get discouraged and to to just get full of doubts when you're sitting there in a waiting season, but we have to trust God knows what he's doing and his timing is perfect. And we see that it was perfect here because God is orchestrating far more than you and I can see. We can trust him. We can trust God with the where and the when of our lives. Here it is. It's New Year's Eve. It is a whole day for us to mark the passage of time. What if you and I started this new year by giving God the time of our lives, by putting our where and our when into God's trustworthy hands? We could lean in and trust him for his pace and his prompting for the where and the when of our lives and let him take us on his journey. My friends, I hope you are encouraged and I hope that I see you soon. Happy New Year.